It was not my plan to scare you. What are you doing here? You live on the other side of town. I was in the neighborhood and I saw you walking. All right, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Really? It looks like you're dealing with something. Really, nothing going on. Really? I heard you were suspended from school. Yeah, long story. What did you do? You know uh, Miss Pelephant? Yeah, she gives me mad. <laughs> well, I didn't know she was pregnant. Really? What did you thought then? Well, I just thought she was eating a lot lately. And now you got suspended? Yeah, she was pretty mad. But it's only for two days. You forgot the history test. That's next week. No, it's tomorrow. Friday. Fuck. Shut up. I need to go home. I see you next week. Uh, wait, Sarah. Uh, quick question. Do you have uh, some money for me? Money? For what? Uh, I'm really sorry. I can't say why. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to spend my money then. That's alright. See you next week. I don't have it yet. The two weeks have passed. I want my money now. I don't have it. I'm sorry. <sighs> I give you one week. If you don't have it, I fucking kill you. How do I get the money? Figure that out yourself. How much money did you borrow from him? Not so much. A few. What is a few? Three thousand. Shit, so much? What did you buy for that money? Nothing. Tell me, I want to know. Alcohol and drugs. I was given a great party. And you didn't invite me? Yeah, it's not your kind of party. You wouldn't like it. True. There's no party for me when there's alcohol or drugs. Can you help me out with this? How? How do we get three thousand dollars? Your brother? Fuck no. He's a criminal, but he can't help. He just got out of jail for killing a girl. I know, but he also robbed somebody, right? You want to rob somebody? You're crazy. Get a job or something. I won't make $3,000 in a fucking week, Sarah. From who did you borrow the money? I don't know. I only spoke to him on the phone and the money was in the envelope. You're in deep shit. You know that, right? Call your brother, please. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. How long has it been? Two years? Two years and six weeks. Fucking hell. You didn't call me once. I called you an hour ago. Fuck you, Sarah. You know exactly what I mean. You're a criminal. You killed a girl of 19 years old. She was... Doesn't matter. What do you want from me? A friend of mine needs $3,000. So? He can take a job. He needs it fast. For what? What did he do? His mother is in the hospital. He needs it. Fine. I will help you. Or him. 
What do you want to do? We are gonna rob somebody. <laughs> That's my sister. So, who are we gonna rob? You know, Mr. Flanagan? <laughs> that motherfucker. He once punched me, you know? Did you rob a house before? Of course, from my friends once. And because I like it. Got six thousand dollars. So, this is easy? Of course, but there is something. For who are we going to steal the money? Jack Lander. Jack Lander? All right. Is Jack also coming to the robbery? No. He's staying with his mother. All right, that's cool. I understand. But I swear, if you are lying about this, I'm gonna punch you so hard that you spend the rest of your life in a goddamn wheelchair. I'll see you tonight. So, you know what the plan is? We're gonna rob Mr. Flanagan. He has a bag with a lot of money, and we're gonna steal that money. Clever girl. Do you have a weapon? Why should I bring a weapon? <sighs> Never mind. Just do as I say and be so quiet as possible. Check the bathroom. You can hide a suitcase with money everywhere. It's a melody of the night. Did you find the suitcase?
time and put a fucking bullet in your head. All right. We can't go down anymore. So I hope the bag with money is upstairs. What if the police find us? I'm not going back to jail. I've been there for two years and this is hell. I'd rather put a bullet in my fucking brain. You never should have killed that girl. What did she do? Doesn't matter. I want to know. Mind your own business, Sarah. What? It's the bag. It's over here. going to go back through the window this will be enough for your friend thank you for your help no problem just give me 40 percent and we're good i will do that thank you i'll see you around money for Jack Landon. Why does that name sound so familiar? No fucking way. I have stolen my own money. Got the money? Yes, I do. You have to thank my brother too. Yeah, I will do that. Are you going to invite me in? Yeah, of course. Give me a minute. Quick, quick, come in. from you but I didn't know how to pay it back so you asked my sister to help you yes and she asked for your help and you robbed the house to get money from me I should have kept it listen Mike I'm sorry if I knew it was your money he borrowed I would have never asked you I'll give you 10 seconds to leave the house what are you going to do I'm gonna hurt your friends really bad. So get the fuck out! No, please, Mike. There's just a small mistake. Fine. Then you will act the same way as your friend does. You're better than this, man. What the fuck did Julia say to me? I'm sorry, man. But I don't wanna die. Are you afraid of dying? Yes. I think it will hurt. And you are right. It's gonna hurt you really bad. This conflict doesn't have to end. Violence. You forget one thing. I'm raised with violence. Say goodbye. Move you call the police. Sorry, Mike. How dare you? They're going to take me to prison, Sarah! You don't know how bad it is! You were gonna kill him! I don't want to go to prison. Maybe it's not that bad, Mike. You haven't been there, Sarah. I'm not going back! I'm not going back.
Life is strange. Life is cruel. Life is a mystery. One week of strange, cruel and mysterious things. It has all come to an end. There's no happy ending. I should have known that when I called my brother. But it's over now. Life goes on. Even when it hurts like hell.